Charitable group Hosea Helps is having to make some big adjustments for today's Thanksgiving meal. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm is live at the Georgia World Congress Center this morning. Rebecca, this is always the largest Thanksgiving meal in Atlanta, but this year it will look, of course, a lot different. Yeah, and here's the dilemma, Rob. How do you have a Thanksgiving meal that's no contact? Well, you can't unless you bring your own utensils and your own plates, which is not possible when you're feeding the hungry and the homeless. So just like all of us have adapted, so has this organization. Normally on Thanksgiving, Hosea Helps serves hot meals to those in need. There's food, fellowship, barbers donate their skills for free haircuts. But this year, with the pandemic, the effort will look different than ever before. Volunteers will hand out food boxes along with hygiene kits and personal protective equipment. Demand has been up since March and donations have been down, putting a strain on the organization. It was founded by the late Atlanta civil rights activist Hosea Williams and has been feeding the hungry since 1971. Still, thanks to donors, the organization is making it happen. A famo Malami, son-in-law of the late Hosea Williams, told our Fred Campagna how it will work. The cars will be lined up along the uh, Andrew Young Boulevard. They'll come in. Each of the stations are already set up. The food box, the produce, sandwiches, drinks. They'll drive through. We'll load each car up and they drive right off. And by the way, volunteers have prepa prepared 2,000 boxes for this distribution. The event gets underway at 10 o'clock this morning here at the Georgia World Congress Center, and it ends at 1 o'clock. And whether you walk up or you drive up, just look for the volunteers who will show you where to go. Live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. And the good news is the people who need their meals will still get it on this Thanksgiving. Rebecca, thank you for that report.